really started, you know, when I was a little girl. I, and I, you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know all the ways that life's going to influence you. But when I was a little, I grew up in Miami, Florida. Anybody from Miami, Florida? Okay. I, I, and I went, the store, the, the real, the department store that was there when I was growing up was Burdines. Now it's Macy's. Everything's Macy's. And they had a carnival. We, we didn't have Christmas in Florida like everybody else did because it was never cold. And so, but Burdines would always do a carnival. And on the top floor, they had um, a, um, when you would exit the carnival, there was a place for kids to go. Your, your parents went one way and you went the other. And it ended, you ended in this little gingerbread house that was like a, a, a Santa shop for kids so that you could buy holiday gifts for your family. And it was, everything was like 25 cents, 10 cents, you know, cheap. And I remember that this is the first time that I bought a gift for my mother, for my parents, for Christmas with money. You know, I used to make the, the little pencil cups that you do in school and the little hand prints and the, 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 you know, crayon drawings, the black, and then you'd carve out I love you mommy on it. And I remember that I wanted to buy my, I wanted my mother to be, even at, at like how whatever age I was, around 10, I wanted my mother to be something that she wasn't. She was not a fancy person, but I saw this little glass dish that I wanted to get her that was in this store, and uh, it was 25 cents, and I just, I was fixated on it. I just knew my mother had to have this glass dish, and it wasn't really probably even glass. I mean, it was glass, but it wasn't like crystal or anything. It just looked sort of fake crystal, and uh, this very helpful elf, it was a teenage girl dressed up, I, I don't want to say like our elves today at Build-A-Bear, but you know, they had an apron on, an elf costume and everything. And she made me feel like a million bucks, like that quarter that I was buying, that present that I was buying for my mom was going to be the most important present I ever bought her. I wish I knew her name, but I can still see her face. And she had this huge influence on me, and I remember when I gave it to my mom, I did wrap it in paper that I decorated, and I remember my mom was crying when she opened it, and I think it was that she realized there was no more arts and crafts, you know, projects coming. But, um, but I realized then that whole experience, this whole magical experience, this is before Disneyland, this is before Disney World, all these, before that I was in this little gingerbread house. And the way that that, that person felt, and I just didn't know how imp impactful that would be over time. And so um, later when my mom passed away, when I was um, just a young person, I remember going through her things and there was the glass dish. And that glass, I still have the glass dish. It's, it has a few chips in it, but that glass dish sort of indicated to me that, um, that reminded me of the store and reminded me of this fantasy. So my mom and I always loved to go shopping. We didn't really spend much money because we were little, and as you could probably understand and relate to too, my mom used to make all of our clothes. So she'd look in the stores. I thought she was making them because we were little, but she was really also making them because we couldn't really afford it. Um, and I always, people would always say, you have the most beautiful clothes. Where did you get that? You know, so all of that goes back to the store experience, you know, having this experience of shopping with my mom, seeing these ideas, and I, I just didn't know. I really thought I was going to be a lawyer. I was going to be, you know, who knows what. I mean, as time evolved, I was going to be everything, you know, along the way, but I got there, and, it, and all of it came together one day. It really did. It came together from Stanley Goodman saying, retailing is entertainment, and the store is a stage, and when the customer has fun, they spend more money. But beyond that, it was about the relationships that you build the experiences that you have in your life that make you feel special. And so at Build-A-Bear, every time we touch a child, we don't know what, we don't know that child is going to be president of the United States someday, hopefully, or it's successful at whatever they do. And we have a part in that. We can have an influence in that, a positive influence in that. And so we think about that all the time. It's, it, it's not to be like, oh, what a burden we have on our shoulders. It's what a privilege we have. What a privilege we have to have influence in a positive way um, through our business. And so that's how I look at it. You know, I look at every person that ever crossed my life um, as being a po person of positive influence. And I mean, there's some people I didn't like.